YouTube, what it do, it's your boy Steph. Um, as you can see, you have women who are starting GoFundMe's to get back home from Atlanta. And, and as you can see, people are really paying her to get back home to Atlanta. Because life is on easy mode for women. You ever try to compare and contrast relationship problems and dynamics of men and women? And the woman just never seems to um, put herself in a man's shoes. Doesn't even have the... the doesn't even have the, you know, the remorse to do so because they don't care. They don't care. There, there is no equality. It's not. Because women get the opportunity to date who they want. To sleep with the guys that they want. Do men get that same opportunity? In fact, it's robbery. What she would do is she would use you for your attention and your time. In exchange for you, you get nothing. You get hopes and dreams being sold to you. I made a tweet. I said, when you, when you have nothing, you're chasing these women that really, you chasing the women that really like you and they will have nothing to do with you when you have nothing. Then when you have everything, those same women want to chase you. LOL. It's funny how the tables turn. And you have some women that comment under my tweet and said, oh, I can, I can say the same for us women. When I dated a guy, he was at his lowest point. Then he broke up with me because then when he broke up with me and he became, you know, high status and famous, he acted like he didn't know who I was. See, that's not the same thing. And I said it back. I said, at least you got the opportunity. You got a chance. Right? I got nothing. Nothing. Right? You get nothing. She at her lowest, you at her lowest. Who's going to win in the dating game? She is. Not, you get nothing. So how can you compare and contrast that? How is that equal? Can't, because you don't win. How is it comparable? It's not. You get the opportunity and the chance to date guys. I don't. I get dreams sold to me. I get used for attention. I'm chasing, 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 chasing. Hey, how you doing? Hey, we should get on a date. Hey, I want to get to know you. Nothing. In fact, she reply back. LOL, you don't want to get to know me. Just, just completely shut you down. You get nothing. She gets everything. All the unwanted simps attention. All the orbiters. You know what's crazy? You have to work for, for you. In order for you to get women orbiters, which is not even an orbiter, it's a chick that want to be with you. It's a chick that want to get dug out. You have to become somebody. She has to become nothing. That's why it doesn't, it doesn't, com it doesn't compare and contrast. It. There's no equality in that. You can't compare... Me being at my lowest and me chasing her, she didn't want me. She never gave me the opportunity, never gave me a chance. And then when I'm at my highest point in my life and when I keep on soaring, now she wants me versus you saying that, oh, the guy left you. And then when he's seen, he act like he didn't know who you was. You can't compare those two, baby girl. I'm sorry. It, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Women, you never put yourself in our shoes. See, it's easy for us to put us in, in your shoes. It's easy. OnlyFans? Oh, that's easy. Why she got OnlyFans? Because it's easy. 
Simps are going to pay for half naked pictures and videos because they the simps live in a fantasy. Cool, that's easy. Can you put yourself in our shoes? Once we lose a job, we don't get to create our own family. We have to find another job. Or if you're from the streets, you already know what that means. You got to do that very cautiously, which I don't want you to do. But sometimes people got to do what they got to do. Very cautiously. Because they got to take care of their family. All you got to do is start an OnlyFans. Or a GoFundMe. Easy. And then you have the audacity to even, you want a guy that's high value to prove himself to you when he's at his highs, when you know he's greater than you, you want him to prove yourself to you. You want him to prove himself to you. And in fact, you try to downplay his success. You know how many women downplay my success? A Facebook verified you. Who do you think you are? Bitch, I'm that nigga. What the fuck you mean? You know who I am. Don't try to act like you don't know. You've been seeing this work I've been putting in all these years. Oh, now you want me? But you still don't want me. You still want my, you just want my attention. You don't want me. And I tell y'all this, bro, because a chick can give you choosing signals and still just want you for your validation and your attention. But there's only one way to find out. I'm not telling y'all don't approach it. If a chick giving you signals and you like her, she's attractive, you have to approach. There's no way around that. But I'm just saying, don't be surprised when she says, oh, I got a boyfriend. Oh, don't be surprised when she rejects you. And in your head, you like, in your head, you like, why is she staring at me so hard? Why is she liking all my pictures? Why, she on, why, why am I added on the close friends? Because the more high value you are, the more valuable your attention and your validation is to her. It means something to her. It's robbery because you get nothing in return. That's why you go for women who like you. That's why you go for women who are who show interest in you. It is better to get with a chick that's a seven who shows interest in you. That's going to shuck you to you bust and want to get with you. Versus a teen who is stubborn, who just give you twos and signals. And then she rejects you because her ego is way up here. Facts. I'm not going to tell y'all no lies, bro. Oh, you think as you become high value, the, the game stops? No. They going to play more games with you. They are. But for a chick to say, but women, you have to put yourself in our shoes as men. We get nothing when we're young. You get everything until you die. Sorry. And of course, you know, you got to work hard. I get that. You got to go to work. You got to get your money. I understand that. But we're talking about in the sexual marketplace value in the dating game. It is rigged for men. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. And, you know, men, you have to take it on the chin. Rejection. You got to deal with rejection. You got to take that on the chin. It's just something that you got to deal with. It happens. Oh, well. See, women don't deal with rejection. That's why they don't approach. That's why they approach very subliminally. They, they do it with their eyes. They sub-communicate with it. It's just the world that we live in, man. Life ain't fair, man. Life is not fair. <laughs> it's not fair that she got hundreds of Simpsons in her DMs wanting her attention and wanting to get with her and wanting her to take her on dates. And you get nothing. You have to grind. But you know what's fair? When you make it. You know it's fair when you grind to your to your late twenties, late thirties, and you become something. You become somebody. That that's fair. Then you then you have your fair share pick. Every man wants his fair share. You just gotta grind until you get there. You have to grind. That's fair. Oh, when I make it, now they want me. I like that game. When I make it, I look better. My muscles look better. My money longer. I'm more handsome. That's fair to me. Oh, when I make it, not, not only do the younger chicks want me, but the older chicks want me too. Oh, that's fair. That's fair game, baby. 
Because you don't pay, you don't play for now. You play for the long game. You grind for the long. You don't grind for now. You grind for the long game. The fourth quarter game. Just like an RPG game, and I'm gonna end it with this for all my RPG gamers. You know the movie Avengers Endgame? That's when the movie was the most exciting in game, right? Of course, Captain America Winter Soldier. Of course, the Spider-Man movies and the movies leading up to the Avengers Endgame was good. Doctor Strange, Venom. I'm tripping. Venom wasn't a part of the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. But you feel what I'm saying? You know how Endgame was just like, wow. That's how the RPG game is. You had a story. You had a side quest. And then after you beat all the stories and the side quests, it's this thing called in-game content that makes the game 100 times more better. More gear, more loot, stronger monsters. Your, your level cap might even increase. That's the same with real life. Your story mode is through 1 through 10. Or should I say your prologue. 1 through 10. Then 10 through 20, that's the story mode. Then t then 20 through 30, you can be fighting a lot of bosses. 30, 35 hit, that's end game. That's prime mode. That's when it's getting started. That's when it's just getting good. But you grind it from 0 to 30, 0 to 35 to get to, to get to the end game. You can't get to the end game without grinding. So stay focused on the goal, my G. Stuff is cold, man. I'm gone.